Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will show you how to make Heron's engine, also known as the Aeoli Pile. It can be considered a steam engine since inside the can we have water then when it's boiled and converted to steam it is expelled on these tubes and the torque that is produced makes the can rotate. This engine was invented by Hero of Alexandria in the first century and it can be considered the first heat engine. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. GLC PCB is a company that makes excellent quality PCBs at an unbeatable price. You can order boards online in minutes. After registration, upload your Gerber files, select the PCB properties, select the payment method and place your order. Best price and quality for all your PCB needs. We need a small can such as this one. This can is of alcohol in gel. And obviously you need to remove the contents before starting to build. The axis of rotation is made with a nail. This is a four inches nail. And there is a ball bearing at the tip. I will fix it in the center of the can. Make two holes at 180 degrees one from the other and at a distance a little bit above the center since we need to leave space for the water. We need two metal tubes. These are four centimeters in length. I will put it inside the holes and making an angle with the can. Okay, you should get something like this. The tubes must be parallel to each other. So when the steam jets go through the tubes, a torque will be produced that makes the can rotate. The ball bearing of the axis is press fit on a piece of wood, so it can rotate freely. And the lid of the can is attached to the axis with epoxy putty. Okay, we are ready to test it. I have put some water inside and now let's apply some heat. Okay, the problem seems to be that the diameter of the tubes is too large and the steam jet 
does not come out with enough speed. So let's make it smaller. Ok, let's try again. Ok, that's all for today. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you want to help me, please visit my Patreon page. Thank you and see you in the next video.